If you're wondering how to write and optimize your product titles for your Shopify page, well, you're in the right place. We're gonna get into the weeds here, but I promise you're gonna get a great result. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, founder of two other e-commerce brands and an e-commerce consultant, coach, whatever you wanna call it these days. And in this video, I'm gonna break down how to write and optimize your product titles for your Shopify store. So Shopify product titles, we all know what they are, the product title, but why are they so important? Well, there's two reasons. You need to have product titles that are descriptive for your customers, but also informative for Google. Now, when it comes to writing these product titles, there are many different reasons why. Like we just talked about, there's Google and then there's your customers, but also there's Google again. If you ever plan on running Google search ads, your merchant account is linked to your Shopify store, which pulls from that data. So what happens is, your merchant account will either flag, disapprove, or approve your products. That is all based on your titles, your descriptions, and your images. So understanding your product titles is super important, both on the brand consistency side, as well as the Google side. So when we're writing our product titles, you do not want to be vague. You do not just want to have red t-shirt. You want to have red t-shirt, red polyester t-shirt size medium. If medium isn't a variant of your red t-shirts, but if it's not and you're doing product titles based on the sizes and colors, well then use that title as a descriptor of what is being sold. So for Google Shopping and Shopify, your product title needs to remain around 150 characters. No more than that, but I always like to do a little less than that to make sure that my titles are clear and concise. Then, as I just alluded to, the variants. So if you have different sizes, if you have different colors, if you have different textures, different anything, you can use those variants within the product titles. And again, that's for search engine optimization purposes in that now Google, Google Merchant, Google SERP results, and your customers are easily able to identify this product is the one I want. If you're finding this video useful so far, give me a thumbs up, put a lot of time into these videos and I'm just here to help you guys. So I would appreciate it if you threw me a little bone here and smash that like button. I'm a huge fan of capitalization. So for me, on all my stores and all of our client stores, we like to utilize capitals. So each word on your page should be capitalized. If there are numbers, one through 10, always use the number itself. And then understanding how to use certain characters, whether colons, dashes, different elements to break up the variants within your product titles. You don't wanna just have red long t-shirt, medium size, large, extra large. You wanna have a red t-shirt, dash, medium, dash, 70% polyester, whatever. Those need to be in there, broken apart, again, both for Google and your customers. Now, when it comes to branding, I personally do not add my brand name onto my product titles within Shopify, but I do add my brand names in the page title. So remember, there's a difference between product name and page title. Both of them can be separate, and I like to do the brand name on the page title so that when someone is on the SERP, search engine results page, and they see beard bundle kit, savage man grooming is an awareness level that otherwise I would not have if I just had the manly beard kit. If you guys are finding this video useful, you're enjoying the content, you're understanding how to write these product titles, go ahead, hit that like button. If you really want to hit the subscribe button, channel's growing and I just love seeing those numbers increase. So let's get into Shopify. Let's break down how to do this product title optimization. 
So as you can see, we are in my alligator dog toy, small to medium sized dog. And so what we did here is initially it was a gator dog toy. It just was not enough information in order to rank on Google. Now, if we do gator dog toy on Google, we're going to see there's a few of them. There's $8, $8.32. You'll see that my product is currently not listed based on some changes that we're making in the Merchant Center. But overall, we have an Amazon, Amazon, Walmart, Petco. And so we needed to change this product title in order to be more effective. So what we did was an alligator dog toy for small to medium sized dogs. Save that. And we'll see as we scroll down, we have our variant. There's only one 1999 alligator dog toy. And what we did, as I was saying, is breaking apart the page titles. We implemented the vertical slash chic doggy boutique. Again, bringing back that brand name to us. From there, we have our meta description and then alligator dog toy. And so when we look at the page, we have exactly that. We have alligator dog toy, small to medium sized dogs, giving the information to the consumer that, hey, this is what it's for, our description, and then we have our other toys that people may also like as well as recently viewed. So when it comes to this, now we can put it into Google. I'm not sure if we are currently indexed yet with this page, but let's give it a shot. And we are not, not to worry, it's a brand new site that was launched seven days ago. So as we go through all of these, we have our adjustment of what they are. Bone shaped plastic pet double diner, stainless steel bowls, pink and silver set of two. Plastic frame double diner pet bowl in stainless steel, large gold and silver set of two. Stainless steel pet bowl with anti-skid rubber base. So we're being descriptive and we're being concise because we're staying within that character limit of what Google wants to see. So understanding how to write all of your product descriptions is super important. When you're building out your Shopify store, you want to be concise, informative, and stay within a character count that Google wants to see. Most of them fall between 80 and 150 characters. So the key is what we do is a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet has every single one of our products. And what you can actually do is you can export your entire product list from Shopify to a CSV file, open it up in Google Sheets. You can do all the work you need to within that, including page titles, product titles, meta descriptions, the associated alt text for the images, everything in one spreadsheet, which makes your life way easier. Now, there is a mistake that I do not want you to make. And it's super important that you listen to this mistake. Do not keyword stuff. For example, do not have large dog bed for large dogs that want a comfy bed. That is a red flag. You will not ever get ranked. Google will find that as keyword stuffing, being spammy. It will not be effective. So make sure clear, concise, and informative. I really hope you guys found this video useful. I'm here to help. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you need any feedback, leave a comment. I want to see your websites. Leave your website in the comment below. I will take a look at it. I will send you a message. You can connect with me at official underscore Chris underscore Murano on Instagram. We can communicate back and forth. I've already done a few other websites helping people out because that's what I'm here for, to help you guys out. So leave a comment, leave your website. Let me check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.